This is my slash two-wheel drive. Now you're probably saying, no, that's not a slash two-wheel drive. That's a wrestler with slash bumpers. It's sort of a sad excuse for a slash. And that's not too far from the fact, but this is actually considered a slash uh, because it's an extended wrestler, so it's the same length as a slash, and it has slash bumpers. So I guess apparently that makes it a slash. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go through sort of all the, like, how you convert it over to a slash uh, in a little while. But for now, I just want to brief, briefly run over all the parts I have. I'm not going to give you too many details on them. I'll just tell you that I've been really happy with all these parts I have in my truck right now. And I haven't broken anything for a long time. Uh, all the parts sort of complement each other really ni nicely and give you a nice sort of structural, uh, yeah, really nice structural strength and everything. Anyways, I have RPM bumper up front. STRC bulkhead right there, RPM A-arms, uh, Traxxas aluminum casters, RPM carriers, stock pins and turnbuckles, uh, yeah I'll go over the wheels later, big bore shocks, and the one thing I'll just point out here, these big bore shocks I got came with steel shafts, not titanium. I'm not sure if that's like Tra Traxxas's new thing they're deciding to do, but I wasn't too pleased when I saw that. I mean, I haven't bent any yet, but I was just sort of a little bit disappointed, I thought the big bore shocks came with the titanium shafts, but oh well. And then everything else up here is stock. Uh, I mean the shock tower, the body mount, haven't had any trouble with those, so I figure I'll just keep them stock until I do. Uh, and then I have an, an STRC bell crank right there. Been very pleased with that. Takes a lot of the play out of the front wheels. You'll notice that these wheels, it's not a whole lot of wobble up there, right? And yeah, let's see what else. I'm not going to go into what servo I'm using. That's actually a crawler servo. Uh, don't ask me why I'm using a crawler servo because I'm still trying to figure that out. And then I have, of course, the stock wrestler chassis is what you use, uh, top and bottom plate. I have my Zippy 5000 milliamp hour two cell battery pack. They're about $16 a piece. I have another video showing you how you can modify your chassis to get this thing to fit perfectly, but that's it right there. That's all I'm going to show you for now. And then I'm using my GT2 transmitter. Again, this thing's it's great. It's about $16 from Hobby King. Works really well. Feels like an $80 transmitter. Uh, stock electronics, or at least stock ESC. Uh, yeah, again, been really pleased with it. The only thing I don't like about the Traxxas uh, Valenian ESC is that the low voltage cutoff is super crappy. It cuts off way too early. I don't even use it anymore. I just try and monitor my batteries as best I can with a little uh, voltmeter, so uh, that's all I can say about that. I would never buy this ESC just to buy an ESC. Uh, it would be a pretty stupid. The only reason I'm using it is because it came with the truck and it hasn't conked out on me yet, so I figure I'll use it until I have an issue with it. And then back here I have an RPM shock tower and I just got this mainly because it looks a lot better than the stock shock tower. And why else did I get it? Yeah, I think that's the only reason I just wanted an RPM shock tower in the rear. Didn't have any issues with my stock one, though. And then I have a Golden Horizon uh, transmission case back here. And again, this transmission case is really cheap for what you get. It's like $35, I believe. And I got it for like t with $10 shipping to Canada. So, I mean, very affordable compared to the FLM case. And it's, it's great. You don't have to modify anything. It's a direct replacement right into your truck. Yeah, it looks pretty good, uh, keeps your motor temps down quite a bit, and it maybe makes your truck a little bit quieter as well. Like this thing is really silent. I'll drive it around a little bit in my backyard quickly when I'm done showing you everything. The motor, I'm not going to go into that just because uh, this motor is sort of funny. It's, I mean, it's a great motor, uh, don't get that wrong, but it's just, it's a little bit more powerful than a 17.5T motor, and not nearly as powerful as a stock VXL motor. I, I was going to run this motor in a 17.5T class, but I guess it's a little bit too long, so it's not technically legal. So this motor's sort of out in no man's land. It's a little more powerful than a stock class motor, and not as powerful as an open class motor, so I'm not really sure exactly what you'd use this motor for. But, you know, it, it works nicely, and it's cheap, about $30 from Hobby King. Uh, yeah, RPM bumper back here as well. 32 pitch gears. I believe I'm running 54, 16. I don't take my word for it, but I believe that's what I'm running. And then again, big bores in the rear. Uh, these ones came with titanium shock shafts, thankfully. And yeah, RPM A-arms, RPM carriers. And these shock springs I'm using are the made by Lossy. They're the just the blue springs 
front and rear springs, of course. And let's see what else. These wheels I'm using are Gladiators. They're by far the best wheels to use for like off-road use, uh, as far as I know. They're fairly new as well. Proline just came out with them a few months ago. And I haven't actually run these ones yet. I've been using calibers for a while, which are very similar to gladi gladiators. They're just a little bit more, they're a little finer. The little, all the little knobs on them are just packed together a little closer. So yeah, they get a little bit less grip. Yeah, there's the truck. Uh, oh, I skipped the most important part, sorry. This SCRT LCG kit or low center of gravity kit. This is essentially what extends your chassis. It comes with a few, I think three plates that sort of bolt onto the bottom here. And then one plate that goes underneath your ESC and sort of brings everything out. So the chassis is actually sitting about one and three quarters of an inch, I believe, away from the, ba uh, the back of the transmission case. So yeah, sort of an interesting kit, but it works really well. Super durable, comes with a little battery hold down thing just to replace where your uh, ESC mounting plate used to be. Let me just plug it in here. Plug everything in and flip stuff on. I'll give you a little demo in the backyard quickly. Very low center of gravity, so I don't have to worry about it flipping. 